Hello and namaskar. Welcome to our live conversation on managing examination stress. We all know that examinations are very important for us for the growth, but at the same time sometimes we feel a bit scared, worried and anxious. So therefore we have our today's conversation for all our students. And let me also bring to your notice that honorable prime minister Sri Narendra Modi ji will conduct pariksha pe charcha on 27th of January 2023. for all of you so that we can celebrate our examinations providing us more insights into how to deal with examination stress we are also joined by our two panelists so allow me to introduce you with the guest of today's session here we have with us ms sudeshna nathji namaskar ma'am welcome madam is a counselor at dps vasundhara we are also joined by dr jayanti banerjee namaskar ma'am we welcome you as well thank you ma'am is a consulting psychologist So viewers let's begin our conversation on how we can manage examination stress. So the first question we have for Jayanti madam. Ma'am in the first place I would like to know why are students so worried about examinations? It's a very interesting phenomena which you have brought out Simran and uh, let me tell this to our uh, viewers that examination is also a learned behavior. and this is something which is existing in the society which makes us feel very scared but apart from this examination has two factors which affect it and that is the external factor and the internal factor so sudeshna will be talking to us about the internal factors and then i'll speak about the external sure. right so as a child i am constantly worried that i have to perform i have to give my best what will my parents think what will my peers think so my need to prove myself my status all becomes a source of anxiety and pressure for me that is how examinations internally is giving me so much of fear and anxiety the external factors are sometimes it happens that parents do without saying it in a very very uh, precise manner they do if, uh, you know talk about that how ex- they have to perform well in an examination we all have to remember this that examination preparation we are doing for the entire year one examination is not capable of finding out the potential of a child so somewhere the child has internalized that this is going to tell that how am i going to perform in my life ahead so this become an external factor that what will the parents say how will society rate me what is my percentage what is my cut off all these things again become an external factor of stress whereas the pressure should be that i perform better than my own self rather than comparing myself with the rest of the world so having discussed on the role of parents it is very important for us to understand how parents can help the children the students in dealing with examination stress so deshna ma'am please help us with that so there is a 3m mantra for the parents monitor motivate and constantly help the child memorize we as parents need to monitor our child what is the child child doing constantly and regularly that also includes what is the child eating whether the child is doing exercise or not at the same time we have to give hope motivation and believe that our child are, is going to do well and no matter what we are standing with the child our love has nothing to do with the scores our love has nothing to do with the examination and we also need to ensure that we as parents are helping the child memorize revise wherever it is required so let's discuss ahead in the conversation on uh, what type of preparation should students do during their examinations and also before their examination so jayanti ma'am please highlight more on that aspect so simran the pariksha pe charcha which has been a source of motivation to the students or throughout and uh, our honorable prime minister has also come out with a book which talks about several mantras we have also got one mantra for the students and that is 3r so the 3 r's which are very extremely important for the students is first of all uh, regularity 
So, as uh, you know, it has been always been talked about that whatever we are doing, we have to be absolutely regular with our studies. It is not possible that we study one day and we do not study the other day. So, whatever we are doing, be regular with it. So, when you are uh, preparing a schedule for your examination, for revision, be regular in that and try to also put all the subjects so that you are regular and you are not without touch for any subject. Second thing which is extremely important is routine. So, the book which is uh, being launched by the Prime Minister on tips for students also talks about routine which means that every day, I mean it is not possible that when you are studying for your examination you leave everything else. We do not stop eating. So, it is very important that you have, you continue with the routine. So, that means you need to play, you need to also sleep properly, you need to study, you need to eat properly. So, all these things have to be in sync, then only we can give. I mean, it is a very known fact that no machine can work without fuel. So, fuel is very important, food is very important, in the same manner your exercise is also very important. So, playing is an important part of any student's life or for, for that matter any human's life. So, play, eat and study, this routine should continue, there should not be any change in routine. And the third one is review, many a times it happens that we try to focus on the areas which are you know uh, where we are not doing well. So, there it becomes extremely important to find out that yes you find out the areas which you are not very well prepared in but also focus on the areas which are your strength. So, that means those marks or those areas you will be able to attempt extremely well where you are good in. So, do not get perturbed, do not get stressed and try to focus on the areas which are your strengths and also in the same time process which are the areas where you can work or you can improve upon. And not to forget 8 hours of sleep which is very mandatory. So, let us also get to know about any tips for teachers uh, where they can just come in and help all those students who are dealing uh, very hard to manage with examination stress. So, Sudeshna ma'am. As a subject expert, no one is be in a better position than the teacher to tell the child how to attempt the paper, how to go about the difficult portions and how to go about the portions which are very important. And the teacher gives the maximum encouragement, maximum confidence to the child which actually creates the child and prepares the child for the examination. Guru Gobind do khade kake lagu pai balihari guru aapan jin Gobind dio batai. Yaha this Gobind here is examination. So the teacher has to help the student to find out the best in himself or herself and also give that sense of hope. Believe it or not, we human beings thrive on hope. And when we know that things can be worked out, we get that sense of strength from our own self. So, the teachers play a very important role in motivating the students to compete with their own self and not compete with others because that is extremely important. I cannot compete with you, I have to compete with my own self. Jainti ma'am, how can we keep ourselves composed especially during our examinations? That is a very interesting question Simran. We are giving examinations day in day out but how to keep ourselves composed during examination? Well, we have to think about what do we need to do before examination and what do we need to do during examination and what do we need to do after examination. So, coming before examination, for keeping yourself composed before examination, first thing which I see most of the students doing is that they try to study before entering. Do not do that. At least one hour or two hours before the examination, you should close all your books. You should not take because we do not remember anything. We feel and that gives us further stress. Try not to discuss with your friends as to what and how they have prepared. Have faith in yourself, your preparation is well because ultimately you are going to write the examination. 
enter when you enter the examination hall and you are seated you will see that now you have reading time also and when you fill up all your details after that take some time take some deep breaths so that you feel relaxed because our body also needs to feel relaxed so when you are taking deep breathing when you are doing deep breathing then you are relaxing your body so take time for reading the question paper well utilize your reading time well and then only you start writing your paper during when you are writing the paper that is something again which needs to be kept in mind most of the time it is observed that children start either from the unfamiliar question now unfamiliar question when you start with that what happens that your body is already stressed and you are starting with unfamiliar chartered areas that further stresses you out so always try to find out the questions which are, you are familiar with so that will help you relax and then you can start attempting and believe it or not your automatically your body also starts relaxing and all your memories come back and then you are able to attempt all the questions when you are also attempting the paper please keep in mind that you are attempting the paper in a particular order don't do random questions back and forth try to go in a certain order you can start from the last or you can start from the first whichever way you are doing but go in a particular order and try to attempt the questions that you are familiar with have faith in yourself you will be able to do all your examination and last but not the least once you finish your paper please do revise ensure that you have attempted all questions the questions given in the paper because many a times we leave certain questions and in the hurry we forget to attempt those questions so just ensure that you have done the questions properly in an order and when you leave the examination hall have a sense of faith in your own self and whoever is your uh, faith provider have faith in that and you when you leave the examination hall do not then discuss the question paper go back take you know your food relax and then when you go back home after that give yourself some break and then start preparation for the next paper do not discuss the paper because whatever is done is done so there is no way that you can undo that so it is better and also remember your examination keeps on happening we have been giving examinations right from the time you know we enter school this is also just one examination this is not going to determine or this is not going to be the final chapter of your life you will get more chances also have faith in that and relax and move on to the next paper so how exactly we should prepare for our examinations ma'am right so by now i'm sure the child knows whether the child is a reader whether writer or a actual hands on doing every child has a different style of learning and once they identify what is their best way they should focus on that along with that i'm sure by this time you have seen the syllabus you know what all is coming in the exams you've made small small notes regarding the same and once you've read the book you close it and you check how much have i prepared how much do i remember and if you find that there are gaps between what you want to know and what you already know go back to your notes go back to your books but in case you feel the time is less and you haven't done that much and now the time is putting pressure on your shoulder what you need to do is check all that you can do easily in less time that will give you the confidence that i have covered this portion and i'm left with only a little bit and regarding that little bit take your best time out from the day when you are relaxed when you can give your maximum attention i do understand that children have a limited time of attention as their best period so it doesn't matter for those 40 45 minutes if you read with your entire concentration and try to understand and check once again you will be able to cover the topic and once you've covered yourself don't forget to motivate yourself if your motivation is by taking a walk in the garden 
please go and do that. That will help you to feel sure that you have covered what is coming for your examination. I think children have prepared themselves by now. And if not, go back to your teachers. They are always there for you. I would also like to add to what Sudeshna has so wonderfully put that when you are preparing for your examination, also do keep in mind the schedule of the examination. Many a times we keep the first examination and we don't prepare for that and we keep on focusing on the examination. So as we talked about it before also about routine and regularity, give equal weightage to all subjects. All subjects need preparation. And yes, why when you see the examination schedule, then you can always work out that which are the areas where you need to work more and which are the areas where you are very comfortable. Also, when you are preparing for your examination, please remember that um, the relaxation part and for that yoga is a wonderful way of relaxing your own self. So please try to learn a few uh, asanas from your yoga teacher in the school because that is really beneficial because when your body is in sync, your mind is also able to contribute best. So have faith in yourself as I said again, take time out for relaxation, keep the examination schedule in mind and along with that I am sure all students are going to do extremely well. All the best. <laughs> All the best to you as well. So thank you to both of you for sharing this valuable insights with all our viewers watching the session out there. And let me also apprise once again for all our viewers that on 27th of January 2023, you all can watch Pariksha Pe Charcha by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. You can watch it on all the 12 channels of PM Evitya, also on Doordarshan, All India Radio and various other channels. So we all have to keep in mind during examinations, let's not be warrior. Instead, be examination warrior. So stay tuned for more such information. Namaskar.